Hello everyone, Andy with Poly Performance here and you're watching Poly Garage. Today we're going to be discussing a new product that we've just brought to market. We're calling it our Taco Tab. It's a Toyota lower control arm alignment cam delete kit. So Toyota platform is real popular. A lot of guys putting mid travel, long travel on this. They're, uh, they're great vehicles, very modular. A lot of stuff bolts right onto them. But one of the things we noticed immediately uh, is that the alignment doesn't hold very well. And if you go online and search around and start asking people, it's a lot of people consider it a given that it's uh, you know, you need an alignment every two months or every time you go after, you know, you go after a big trip, you got to come back, your steering wheel's crooked or maybe you knock the camber or caster out and the vehicle's pulling a little bit. So the thing with Toyota is they use a, an alignment cam in the lower arm. It looks uh, somewhat like this. It's just a, a bolt and sleeve type combination. And, and what it does is, and I'm using this Toyota uh, Total Chaos cam tab uh, gusset kit to demonstrate. So this is another great solution because the, the tabs themselves that hold the cam bolt are really susceptible to folding over. Um, so the cam works in a way that as you turn it, the control arm pivot point moves in or out of the vehicle. The front cam controls the camber, the rear cam controls the caster. Now, what will happen is even if you have this gusset kit, the cams under a hard hit, depending on where they're set, they can shift very easily. And so that's a long-term problem because what happens is every time you go out, if you got to align your vehicle, that's not really the most enjoyable part of it. So what we developed is a set it and forget it type kit. So we have four tabs, tab A, B, C, and D, and then we use a through bolt. And using these tabs, which lock in, into the slot and between the tabs, these lock the bolt physically in place and it can no longer uh, rotate under a hard hit. This is a set it and forget it type system. So to go through it, what we've got going on here is these fit in the front alignment cams, these fit in the rear alignment cams. One tab has a offset hole, one tab has a centered hole. The offset holes are used to reach either the minimum or the maximum range of the factory alignment slot, as you can see here. The centered hole is the neutral setting. So a lot of the vehicles that we've been working on, they're brand new. They actually are all more or less coming in the neutral setting. And there's a real easy way to install this kit. And what you do is you're gonna index off of what your alignment settings currently are. Uh, a real common setup to do with these Toyotas is maximize the rear cam to the outboard position. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll put this guy in at the maximum position and the fronts, a lot of times they're ended up right in the center. So you can baseline off of what is already set on the vehicle based on the alignment cam and trade these out, put this in and head off and get your toe reset and you're more or less good to go. We consider this a, an aggressive kit. This is for people who are using their vehicles hard. Uh, we go to Pismo a lot. There's a lot of whoops. There's a lot of jumps, a lot of hard bottom outs. The, that's generally the hardest force your front end's gonna see. So for us, it was, you could go out on a Friday afternoon, enjoy the sunset and knock your alignment out and have it out all weekend. That's not really a great thing to have. So this is a kit I've had on my personal vehicle for over a year now. I haven't touched the alignment once since I've done it. I've been to Death Valley, to Pismo, a bunch of local trails and over 400 dirt miles on this thing. And I haven't once touched it. It's actually my wife's car. And that was the big reason for this is I didn't want to have to deal with the nagging of, honey, why is the wheel crooked? You went and you went out to the dunes with the kids, but now the wheel's crooked. So to get around that and to get around constantly having to take it to an alignment shop, even if you can get in a lifetime alignment, you still got to take it there. You got to deal with them. You got to deal with getting it in and out and picking your vehicle up if they can't do it at the time you drop it off. So it's just a hassle and there's no need for it. Another problem that happens uh, in the rust belt, usually from what I've heard, it doesn't really happen here, but these bolts and cams can either, the cam can seize into the control arm bushing or the bolt seize inside the cam, uh, cam sleeves. So just 
It's a great solution for Toyota as a manufacturer because it lets them be able to fine tune the alignment to a, an exact range. Whereas what we're doing, we're looking for stuff, we're taking them outside of the range with a longer travel coil over with an upper arm. And what we've taken it out of, we're now taking it out and abusing the vehicle harder. And with that comes some other uh, unseen problems like the alignment cam uh, getting knocked out of whack. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this kit now and go over the complete contents and hopefully that makes a little more sense to y'all. <clears throat> So we have our hardware kit. There's two three quarter inch bolts, two 9 16 bolts, uh, washers and stover lock nuts. Everything's grade eight and zinc plated. And then we have our tabs. We have tab A, B, C, and D. There's enough to do any position at any setting. So again, like I said, eight of these are probably not gonna end up being used, eight are you have to match the pair, so you would not want to run a centered hole with an offset hole. It won't fit in the cams. You'll damage the cams if you try, or you'll damage the cam tabs if you try to put it in that way. So it's important to match the centered hole with a centered hole on both sides of the control arm mount or an offset hole with an offset hole. And in addition, when you run the offset holes, make sure that they're both clocked the same way. These have an arrow, or we call it the house. This points up. That's how you know it's oriented correctly in the vehicle. I, I believe they can fit upside down, but we've engineered them to fit this way. They lock in most securely that way. So this is a kit. This is available online on our website now. We have a few more applications coming in the pipeline. Right now, this fits 2005 to 2015 Toyota Tacoma, 03 to 09 Forerunner GX470 Lexus, and then the 07 to 09 FJ Cruisers. So those all share one control arm mount, and then. We're working on getting one available for the later model stuff that's going to be on the 10 and up SUVs and the 16 and up 4Runners. So appreciate your time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and share. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and we'll see you out on the trails.